Can we reimagine our urban spaces as havens for cyclists? Envision a future where the hum of traffic is replaced with the quiet whir of bicycle wheels, where the air is clean and the streets are safe. This is not a utopian dream, but a reality we can shape, thanks to the evolution of urban cycling. The concept of urban cycling is not new. It dates back to the late 19th century when the bicycle emerged as an affordable and efficient mode of transportation. But with the advent of the automobile, bikes took a back seat. The 20th century was dominated by car-centric urban planning, resulting in congested cities and polluted air. But the tides have been turning. A revolution sparked by people demanding more sustainable cities and better quality of life, and supported by organizations like the Urban Cycling Institute and Velo Mondial, has been gaining momentum. They have been instrumental in transforming cities into future cycling capitals, working tirelessly to promote the benefits of cycling and advocating for policy changes. Let's take a trip to Amsterdam and Copenhagen, cities where bicycle trips outnumber those made by car. These cities have integrated cycling into their urban fabric, creating extensive networks of safe cycling lanes, bike parking facilities, cycling-friendly intersections, and even bicycle superhighways. Such initiatives were born out of a blend of innovative policies, relentless campaigns aimed at changing the mobility culture, robust infrastructure, and community-driven efforts. Moving southward, Seville, Munich and Paris have also joined the ranks of cycling havens. Seville, in particular, saw a dramatic increase in cycling rates. This initiative reimagined the city's transportation infrastructure, making it more inclusive and sustainable. So, how did these cities make it happen? Besides the overarching aspiration of transforming cities into friendly places for people and the environment, the answer lies in understanding the economics of cycling. Decisio's Bikeonomics has played a pivotal role here. By quantifying the economic benefits of cycling, Bikeonomics has provided compelling arguments for policymakers and planners. Cycling not only reduces transportation costs, but it also boosts local economies, improves public health, and enhances the quality of life. But urban cycling is more than just economics. It's about safety, sustainability, efficiency, and togetherness too. It's about understanding that given the right conditions and infrastructures, cycling is the most efficient, direct, and fast mode of transport out there. And most of all, it is about learning how to transform cities by learning from each other, sharing mistakes, accomplishments, and innovations. Here, Isinova's contribution cannot be overlooked having coordinated many cycling projects in which cities were able to work together, discuss, visit each other, in a word, support one another in view of accelerating a process of change that our planet has long cried for. Civitas Handshake and the International Cycling Community of Practice are two of the most recent projects that allow cities to walk this collaborative way. The future of urban transportation is not in more cars, but in more options, multimodal and clean options, and certainly in many more bicycles. It's a future that promises cleaner air, safer streets, higher quality urban environments, and healthier citizens. But to make this future a reality, we need champions who can drive this change. To those aspiring to be cycling policy officers, we say this, embrace the power of research, evidence, economic analysis, and international collaboration. Leverage the work of organizations like the Urban Cycling Institute, Velo Mondial, Isinova, and Decisio. Learn from the successes of Amsterdam, Copenhagen, Seville, Munich, and Paris. And most importantly, believe in the transformative power of the bicycle. It's time to pedal towards a sustainable urban future. It's time to make cycling the heart of urban transportation. It is feasible, as many cities already demonstrate. The journey may be long and the road may be steep, but remember, every revolution begins with a single pedal stroke.